Hello everyone, welcome to Amaz Sabti Webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps to recover deleted OU and users by performing authoritative restore of Active Directory database on Windows Server 2019. Let's assume a scenario in which we have a two domain controllers WS2K19-DC01 and WS2K19-DC02. And we have taken system state backup of WS2K19-DC01 domain controller. After taking system state backup, by mistake, administrator has deleted test2u with some users in it. And now we have to restore the deleted OU by performing authoritative restore of Active Directory database on a DC01. See, we are using this scenario to see a meaningful way to perform authoritative restore. Otherwise, we can simply restore those objects using Active Directory Recycle Bin. So to test this, let's delete our OU with user account from Active Directory. Before we do that, as you can see on this console, we have successfully completed the system state backup and the timestamp is also there. And under description, you can see a successful. We have stored that our Active Directory database on a drive letter M. And this is the our backup of DC01, which we have stored here. Fine, let's close this and let's go to Active Directory. Let me click on Domain Controllers Container. Here you can see we have two domain controllers, WS2K19-DC01 and DC02. And for this demonstration, we have a one OU, test OU, and under that we have a two user account. And we have system state backup with this OU and user accounts. Now to test this, I'm going to delete this. Let's click on Delete and click on Yes. Let's select use delete subtree, click on yes, because we want to delete user account as well. Fine. Now, as you can see, our OU has been deleted from our domain, from the domain controller DC01. And now we have to perform the replication as well. So let's click on tools and select act to directly site and services. So that information will be replicated to our other domain controller as well. Fine. Let's expand DC01. Click on NTDS settings, right click on replication link. Fine. Let's do the same for NTDS settings on our DC02. Okay, let's close this console and let's go to our DC02 to check whether we have a OU on it or not. As you can see, this is our DC02. And uh, first of all, you can see taste to use that, but let's click on my local and click on refresh button. And now, as you can see, taste OU has been deleted from our DC02 as well. Fine. We have a system state backup with our taste OU and both users. And now we have deleted our taste OU. So, to perform authoritative restore of our DC01, let's jump to our DC01. And first of all, we need to boot this server into directory service restore mode to restore the system state backup of our active directory. Now, first, I'm going to press Windows R key. Let's type msconfig and click on boot tab and here we need to select save boot with active directory repair. If you want, you can directly restart your server and at the booting time, after post message, you can press F8 key to enter into active directory restore boot. But we are using this msconfig options to boot into active directory repair mode. Let's click on apply and click on OK. It will ask for the restart. Yes, we want to restart the server. So let's click on restart button. After restart at login screen, let's press Ctrl Alt Delete key to unlock the server. And this time you are not able to use mylabs less administrator user account because we are in a directory service restore mode. But still we want to try whether we are able to log in using mylabs less administrator or not. When you type password and press enter key, you will see this message. We can't sign you in with this credential because your domain isn't available. So let's click on OK. And we, are, we need to click on other user. And we need to log in using directory service restored mode admin account and password, which you have set during the promotion of Active Directory domain controller. So it will be a local administrator user account and its password. And then you need to press enter key. So we can use WB admin command line tool to restore Active Directory database as well. But for this demonstration, we are going to use GUI method. So on server manager console, let's click on tools and select Windows Server Backup Console. 
we need to click on local backup fine now to restore we need to click on this recover button so let's click on it and here it is asking us that uh, where is your backup stored that you want to recover so that is stored on a server let's open a file explorer and our backup is stored on our drive letter m fine which you want to recover so we need to select in this server if you have stored backup on another location for example on a shared folder that time you have to select this box let's click on next now here we need to select the timestamp and uh, if you have a multiple version of your backup that time you will see all those backups here and if you drop down this button that time you will see other options as well but for us we have only one backup and that was on a friday 9:53 am and that we want to use let's click on next now here it is asking us that what you want to recover files or folders or a particular partition or system state we are going for a system state let's click on next here it is asking us that select the location for system state recovery here we want to restore on original location that's why we are selecting original location one more thing is that here we have a options to perform an authoritative restore of active directory files i'm not going to select this graphical user interface to perform authoritative restore of our entire active directory database because sometimes may be happen that you have a multiple ou or multiple user account which you have deleted if you perform authoritative restore from here that is going to restore all those objects which you have deleted earlier in case suppose if you want to restore only particular ou and that time selecting this options is not recommended at all let's click on next now here we are receiving one uh, message that this recovery options will cause all replicated content on the local server to resync after recovery this may cause potential latency or outage issue let's click on okay now here we have a box automatically reboot the server to complete the recovery process you don't have to select this box make sure you don't select it otherwise it will perform only non authoritative restore of active directory database so let's click on recover to start the recovery process let's click on yes to continue the basic process of performing an authoritative restore of active directory database is same as a non authoritative restore except for the one step after the restore of active directory database completes in a directory service restore mode before restarting you have to manually run ntds util command to mark the object that you want to restore as a authoritative when we were restoring active directory database using this graphical user interface that time we had an one option if you want to restore the complete database as an authoritative that time you can select that box but suppose if you want to mark particular object as a authoritative that time you have to use ntds util command and that we are going to see once this restoration process completes now as you can see restore process has been completed successfully now if you restart your domain controller at this point that restore has been considered as a non authoritative restore and once you restart the server that time both domain controller will replicate data with each other and whatever dc has the highest usn number those data will be appear inside the active directory now we want to perform authoritative restore that's why we need to open powershell so let's right click on start button and open windows powershell admin at windows powershell we need to run command ntds util then after we need to run command activate instance ntds here you can see message is there active instance set to ntds then after we need to run command authoritative restore we need to press enter key fine if you want to take help here you can run command help to get the list of help command available here now here we have options to restore object or restore a subtree and for this demonstration we want to restore our ou so that time our command will be restore and then after we need to specify the distinguished name of our ou which is ou is equal to test ou dc is equal to my lab and dc is equal to local fine and then after we need to press enter key it will gives you one message are you sure you want to perform this authoritative restore click on yes and fine here one thing which i want to mention is this command 
increase the update sequence number also known as the usn version of all attributes of the selected object by 100000 and that you can see here increasing attributes version number by 100000 Suppose in case if you want to restore only particular user account that time you need to run command restore object and then after you have to specify the distinguished name of that user account in our case it is cn is equal to user1 ou is equal to taste ou dc is equal to mylab and dc is equal to local fine and then after we need to press enter key it will again give you one dialog box click on yes to continue Fine, here we have a message that successfully updated one record. Now we have successfully performed authoritative restore to restore a deleted OU from Active Directory. Now let's jump to our DC02. And here you can see right now we don't have our taste OU on our domain controller number 2. Now let's restart our DC01. Let's type command Q. Q again. Type exit to exit from powershell and before clicking on restart here i'm going to press windows r key let's type msconfig and here we need to select normal startup and if you click on boot tab now those box are not selected so in general you need to select normal startup click on apply click on ok and click on restart now After restart, let's again log into our DC01. Let's specify the password and hit enter key. After logging to DC01, the first important thing which we are going to check is let's check about our OU and user account in Active Directory users and computer snapping. So let's click on tools and select Active Directory users and computers. Let's expand mylab.local and here we go. Here we have our OU named taste.ou and under that OU we have our both users, user1 and user2. So after seeing this, we can say that we have successfully restored our deleted OU and user account by performing authoritative restore of Active Directory database in Windows Server 2019. Let's minimize this console as we are going to check replication with our DC02 as well. Let's uh, right click on NTDS settings, check for replication topology, click on OK, right click and select refresh, right click on automatically generated link and check replicate now. Fine. Let's do the same for DC02 end. Check replication topology, click on OK, right click and refresh and right click on automatically generated link and click on replicate now. Fine. Both domain controllers are able to replicate with each other. Now let's go to our DC02 to check whether we have a OU and user account on it or not. Click on tools and select active directory users and computers. Let's expand mylab.local and if we click on taste OU, here we have our OU as well as our both users are there, user1 and user2 on our DC02 as well. So this is the way how we can perform authoritative restore of activated database in Windows Server 2019. Thank you all for watching this video.